good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new action figure reveals for us today, and it is on the AEW Unrivaled Collection Series side. This is going to be Series 6 of the AEW Unrivaled Collection. Jeremy and All Elite Wrestling and Jazz Wears and Wicked Cool Toys all came out and said that we will be getting reveals today, and uh, they were correct, Brad. They came out, they revealed it to us, and today we're going to break down those images, talk about them, compare them, and, you know, just get into all the good stuff in the details about Series 6 that you need to know. So let's go ahead, shut the hell up, and dive straight into it, guys. Let's go ahead and just start off with my man. We gotta start off with the MDT United States Champion, Jack Swagger, a.k.a. Jake Hager, getting his first AEW action figure right here. And I like what I'm seeing right here. Hopefully, he won't be, like, uber gigantic. You guys know with uh, with Gold Dust, not Gold Dust, but Dustin Rhodes, you guys know that Matt Hardy was a little bit too tall, John Moxley was a little bit too tall, and you guys know that Jake Hager is tall already already in itself so if we were to get him in his true scale, he would probably, like, if, if they do him like they did Moxley and Rhodes, then he is probably going to be way too tall. Hopefully, they take that into account. I know that Jeremy joked about it on the Talk is Jericho podcast. He was talking about on there how, like, Dustin Rhodes' his figure was, like, eight foot seven or something like that, and I thought that was really funny, and he was very self-aware, so that he was very self-aware about the Dustin Rhodes figure, so maybe go, going forward that, you know, they will uh, hopefully adjust the heights of not only Dustin, but the rest of the wave, and get that scale correct, and how it should be compared to the other figures but Jake Hager right here he he kind of has a plain Jane attire it's, you know it's not the most you know exciting gear ever made but I will say that I think I still like the figure it looks like he is going to be using the John Moxley torso I don't have an issue with that I think that should work out pretty good he's got his black shorts on there black knee pads and it looks like he is going to have black shoes or black wrestling boots whatever you want to call those not the you know the most exciting figure ever but it will be nice to expand our inner circle it'll be nice to get him in here and I doubt that I ever rock him in this gear on you know MDT television it's just a boring gear for me uh the only reason I would do this is I, I don't know why I would honestly I I think that you know, his his WWE gears were a lot more, you know, vibrant. They had a lot more going on with them. They're a lot more exciting. So I think I would probably rock the Jack Swagger Elite over the Jake Hager. But I still like this figure, and I'm excited to get Jake Hager in my collection. But that's not all we got, guys. Of course, we'll know more about the figures once we get the details of them. But next up in the set, guys, we do have Ray Phoenix and Pentagon. Now, I was, I was going through some stuff in my brain, and I'm thinking that this is probably going to be their black and gold gear. I think that would probably be the most accurate. I know I had a few fans here hit me up in my DMs, and we're talking about it breaking everything down, and they were telling me that they think it is also the black and gold gear. So I think that'd be a really cool gear, but a nice contrast to the black and white that we got with Ray Phoenix and Pentagon in Series 2. So that would be nice. It does look like we're getting different head sculpts for these guys compared to their other series. Maybe you could repaint these head sculpts to put them onto your Series 2 if you like these head sculpts more, if you like these facial expressions more, all of those good things. It shouldn't be that difficult if you guys wanted to do that, or maybe you have some extras. That's just some customizing and different fix-ups that you could possibly do that I'm playing around with in my brain. But that may be something that you want to do. Again, it's not a lot that we can say about it. It does look to be the same exact mold. Not completely. I think it may be a little bit different as far as like his waist wrap and some other things, but the colors will be different. The head sculpts will be different. Masks will be slightly different, so that could be a role there. But again, not, not a ton of stuff to get into with it, but it will be exciting once we see exactly what the colors look like. I don't know when they plan on showing those off or anything like that. We haven't even gotten final images of Series 5 just yet, which I know the pre-orders are going to go through the roof once we got that. I know we had the leaks of Series 5, but um, hopefully those will be coming in very soon because Series 4 hit a little while ago, so Series 5 should be hitting anytime soon. And hopefully Series will start to show up at retail. Next up, guys, we have Chris Jericho. Now, Chris Jericho looks great. I actually like the screaming face right here. So this makes our third different Jericho head sculpt. If you look at his little bit of the bubbly figure, then you look at his Series 1 figure, and then you look at his Series 1 Chase variant. I think those had the same head sculpt anyway. Then you look at the Series 6, and uh, it'll be nice to see our Jericho with an updated skin tone. You know, you could do the torso swap with your Series 1 until we get our Series 1 re-releases. You can look at that. You could do a swap with the little bit of the bubbly and that upgrade right there will probably make those figures look a hundred times better already still haven't gotten any confirmations and everything on when we're gonna you know when we're gonna get the series one re-releases but this will be a nice step in that direction i'm excited to see what you know accessories we get with this guy it kind of looks like he's wearing gloves again at least like if you look around the knuckles area kind of looks like he's wearing gloves but who knows who knows entirely what this jericho is going to look like 
once it comes out, once we get details and stuff, what kind of tights is he going to have? Hopefully, it will be different than his, you know, Series 1. It's a little bit of the bubbly, ringside exclusive, all those figures, but we will just have to wait and see, you know? That's just one of the things that you have to do sometimes. Next up in the set, guys, we do have Sheeta. Now, this is one that I think should be pretty outstanding. I think this one will probably be better than Riho, and my boy Wally actually told me that it's going to be uh, Sheeta's gear based on Tifa Lockhart from Resident Evil 3, which would be her red and black gear, which if you look at this render image compared to that attire, it does look like that should be the case. I'm sure she'll probably come with another women's championship like we got with Riho from Series 3. I think it's all going to come down to head sculpt though, you know. We know what the sculpt looks like, but we don't know exactly what it looks like with paint apps and things of that nature, which can completely, you know, flip a head sculpt on top of its head. So we'll have to see, wait, play it by ear, see exactly what we're getting. But if it is the Resident Evil 3 attire, I think it would be a really cool gear. The red and black should make it pop out and stand out on our shelves. So that'll be really cool as well. And then the last figure in the set, guys, is going to be MJF. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this looks like a, an exact replica of his attire that we got, or his figure that we got in Series 2, like head sculpt to boots. It looks like the same. He's even going to have the mic holding hand, the mic, the elbow pad. I mean, it looks exactly like his other figure, which isn't the biggest deal. MJF has some pretty plain Jane gear. It's going to be, you know, whatever tights, color with the Lions logos, his tattoos, black boots, black knee pads. However, I will say that it looks like his knees have some, uh, some tape on there, which could call for a specific event. I don't know what specific event he wore the knee tape at, but his last figure I don't think had that. And, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much confirmed that it's not going to be his orangish red gear or his pink gear. I'm sure it'll come with a scarf, maybe an interchangeable head sculpt. We'll have to see what comes of that. But, I mean, he's rocked a bunch of different gears, right? He's rocked a bunch of different colors and stuff. I mean, he's rocked navy. He's rocked lime green or, like, a bright green. I think he's even rocked gold. He's rocked, I, I don't know. He's got a lot of different gears, so it could literally be any of those. And I don't think we know exactly which one is the Chase variant just yet unless they post it up and I just don't know about it just yet but at time of recording they have not they have not released those images just yet hopefully they don't do it while I'm you know after I've already edited this video and gotten it all together wouldn't even shock me to be honest but I would love to know exactly what you guys think about this set what do you guys think I mean I know we got a lot of stuff that looks similar or stuff that's not a, a, a ton different I hope that doesn't hurt the sales of this set because I still think you know I think a lot of it is going to depend on you know if we get some leaks you know from overseas or something or you know exactly what the chases look like what orders and you know all the attires and the details are going to look like before we get before we get completely excited about this wave but at the end of the day i still like it and i'm excited to see exactly what attires and what details we get out of these guys but before we get out of here guys let's go ahead and get into a random shout out and this random shout out is going to go to dakota's vlogs who says matt jackson series three head scope looks like he's high on something brad and i'd have to agree with you right there i think the series three matt jackson is one of my least favorite head sculpts they've ever done was definitely not a fan of that one i don't think it was terrible i think it was just the bags under the eyes that kind of did it for me but huge shout out to dakota's vlogs for that comment on our recent video guys if you guys would like a random shout out in a future video leave me a comment like the video and subscribe turn on the bell for all notifications but i think series six looks okay i'm gonna stop talking right now because my voice needs to rest you guys can still hear the raspiness in it getting on my last john brown nerves to be honest with you but hopefully it will clear up soon and i will be back to my idiot self but thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and don't be like my voice and cross the damn line you cross the line